there, shiny heads. Welcome to another episode of the Shiny Headed Historian. Today we're talking about carpetbaggers during the Reconstruction period between 1865 and 1877. So sit back, grab your popcorn, and enjoy the show. So let's begin from the beginning, shall we? With the ever-present question, I'm sure that you're all asking yourself, because you're so eager to find out what it is, what is a carpetbagger? Well, a carpetbagger was a term that was used to describe a northerner who moved to the south after the Civil War during Reconstruction when we had to put the south back together and fix all of the farms and the buildings and the schools and roads and everything. It's often a negative thing, but not all carpetbaggers were bad. Now on to the pros of carpet bagging. I know we said a lot of them are negatives, but in this case we have people that are coming down from the north to the south to help rebuild and bringing a lot of investment or money to the south, which is exactly what they needed right after this war was over. With everything destroyed, they had nothing left. They also began to help establish new businesses and industries and rebuild ones that were destroyed during the war as a result of the total war. They also played a key role in expanding educational opportunities for African Americans and um, played a vital role in the abolitionist movement and were committed to helping African Americans achieve full and permanent equality. Now, for the cons, or the bad. Okay, so in addition to not all of them being bad, we have some of them that were actually not so good. So the ones that were bad were the ones that were corrupt and took bribes and money and basically took the money and ran. They paid. They were paid to build buildings, they were paid to build railroads, they were paid to build all these things, and they took the money and they went away, leaving people with no money and no buildings. and they just used that to make themselves more rich and more powerful. Others were simply looking for new business opportunities and did not think about the South at all. They were just coming down there to make some money. So they were looking at the people building the buildings and saying, hey, we can make money off this. We can sell them clothes, we can sell them tools, we can sell them supplies. We could even offer to wash their clothes for them in a laundry. So they came down there to predominantly make money for themselves. And some were just plain racist and supported policies that discriminated against African Americans. So they came down there not only to enrich themselves, make themselves more powerful, get themselves a better position, but they also supported the pre-Civil War South rules, which did not treat anybody with equality. Good or bad for the South during Reconstruction? It's a complex question with no easy answer. On the one hand, they brought much needed investment and helped expand educational opportunities for African Americans who were just free. On the other, some were corrupt and racist and took the money and ran and didn't help anybody but themselves. So I'll leave the answer to that question up to you. Whether you think that these people who took the nickname of Carpetbagger, which was based on the bag they carried over their shoulder with all of their clothes and supplies in it, the people from the South said looked like a carpet bag that you would carry a carpet in or a rug in. So we'll leave it to you to decide whether you think carpet baggers are good or bad. Ultimately, carpet baggers played a mixed role in the reconstruction period. Some parts of it good, some parts of that role were bad. They helped rebuild the South, but they also contributed to some of the problems in that era during that time period. We also have to remember that the word car from bagger was often used as a racial slur by white Southerners to take away the credit of the Republican Party and its effort to promote racial equality. 
The term is also used to attack white Southerners who support Reconstruction because most people did not want anybody down there doing anything and trying to make them do what they wanted because that's what they felt like the North was doing. The North was coming down to take things over and to tell them what to do and they did not want that. Another important thing to remember is that the vast majority of carpetbaggers were ordinary people like you or I, who were simply trying to make a better life for themselves and their families. Many carpetbaggers were teachers, merchants, and businessmen. Others were former Union soldiers who stayed in the South after the war. While there were some corrupt carpetbaggers who took the money and ran or took bribes, money for doing favors for people, it's important to remember that corruption was not unique to that time period. Corruption has been widespread in the North during this period and in a lot of other time periods as well. Thanks again for listening to this episode of the Shiny Headed Historian. And don't forget, subscribe to the podcast so you never miss a new episode. Until next time, keep learning and keep shining.